Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be discussing an important topic that I think especially new grad PAs are considering when taking a job. The difference between working in a hospital setting versus private practice. As you may already know from my previous videos, I worked in both. I worked in a hospital setting and I worked in private practice and I even worked in a smaller clinic but part of a bigger organization. So I kind of had a little bit of experience in each setting and this is my personal experience and my views on each of them of course everyone is gonna have different views everyone's gonna have a different experience so just take this with a grain of salt when applying for jobs I'm sure you will get exposure especially when you are in your rotations in each of the settings so there are always going to be pros and cons with each of the different settings but I like to just kind of give you a broad overview on why each setting may be right for you. So I hope this video helps new grad PAs or new grad MPs or any new grad medical provider decide which setting is right for them. Of course, especially when it comes to the PA route, you could always switch from a hospital setting to private practice or you could even work in both of them at the same time as I did that. So let's get into this video. With the hospital setting. So one of the main things that is obviously different is in a hospital setting you will be working with a large team. Doctors, residents, PAs, MPs, nurses, techs, case managers, nurse managers, social workers, you name it, they are part of your team. You will all work together when it comes to patient care, patient treatment plan, patient dispo, and you will even have opportunities to teach new students. So in a hospital setting, number one is a larger team. Of course, in a private practice, you may be with a larger team, but not as big as a hospital setting would be. In a private practice, you may work with other providers, but in a more confined and smaller setting. So that's number one larger team. Number two. Number two is salary or your pay. So in a hospital setting, there's usually a pay scale and based on, you know, each year of experience that you may have as a PA, that's the kind of the range that you're in when it comes to the pay scale. Of course, the benefits are amazing. So you usually have a lot more paid time off. You have amazing health insurance. You have a 401k. So just because because the salary may be smaller when it comes to hospital versus private practice, the benefit package may compensate for you. When it comes to individuals who have a family and you know health insurance and having more paid time off and longer maternity leave or paternity leave, that may be more important to them. In a private practice, you can negotiate your salary a little bit more and sometimes they may even have a productivity bonus so you can kind of get like a commission or more money based on how much you may you know bring to the practice. Number three, schedule. Typically in a hospital, you will do more shift work of like three 12 hour days, three 12 hour nights, four tens. It's a lot more shift work. And what I mean by that is just longer days, but not as many days. When I was in the hospital, I worked three 12 hour days and I typically always had my set days. So for me, it was always Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. In other hospitals, it could be like a rotating schedule, which means that you will be days, nights, weekends, and holidays. In a private practice, you may have more of like a consistent schedule, meaning like a nine to five day, 11 to seven day, seven to three, more like five days a week. You're in the office a little bit more, but for shorter hours. And sometimes, yes, you could have weekend hours, but less likely that you'll be working on holidays. So if holidays are more of an important thing for you, not working nights are more important for you, then maybe private practice is better when it comes to schedule for you. Number four, practice independently. So what I mean by that is, as I mentioned before, working in a hospital, you'll be with a large team. So a lot of people and a lot of providers and a lot of awesome individuals are coming up with a treatment plan, right minds all together to really do what's best for the patient. So in a hospital setting, you are going to be collaborating with a lot of different physicians, PAs and MPs and different subspecialties. And in a private practice, you will be the solo provider sometimes. You may be practicing autonomously, you may be be making the executive decisions and coming up with the treatment plans and devising the treatment
treatment plans, seeing what's best for the patient. As a PA specifically, you could always work with your collaborating or supervising physician, but it's typically a smaller condensed setting where you are working autonomously and more independently. Number five, typically in a hospital setting, you're going to be treating and encountering higher acuity patients. And what I mean by that is patients who are more ill. So in a private practice, yes, you may have patients that really need to go to the emergency room and come to your office prior. But when it comes to the workup, you cannot do as much of a workup in the office setting compared to a hospital setting. More commonly, you will see higher acuity patients in a hospital setting and if that's something that you enjoy then yes the hospital setting may be right for you typically in a private practice setting you're gonna see lower acuity patients you're gonna see patients more for follow-ups you're gonna see patients coming in for routine complaints or routine physicals less likely that you're gonna be seeing higher acuity patients or very very ill patients of course yes when I was working in urgent care I saw very very ill patients but of course I had to send them to a higher acuity setting, which means the hospital. So I was never able to fully work them up, but you could always, you know, follow up if you work in the same hospital system or even calling the patient. So what do I think when it comes to private practice versus hospital? So honestly, I loved working in both. I think that as a new grad PA, it was great that I started in the hospital setting because you really grow as a PA and you really grow as an individual because you are collaborating with so many other professionals and you really learn how to work as a team. So I had a little bit of both. I worked my full time in the hospital and then I worked my part time in a dermatology office where I of course was treating lower acuity patients or more routine skin diseases or issues. I think if you like working with a larger group of people, then maybe the hospital setting is right for you. In a private practice, it's obviously going to be a smaller community of individuals. So currently, I work in a private practice or a private setting and I really enjoy it. My work family is my second family. When I originally switched to not work in a hospital setting anymore back even with when I was working in urgent care, I don't know, just I missed that rush of working with higher acuity patients and just working with a huge team. I really enjoyed that portion of my career. But I think that's also one when you're younger, at least for me, when you're younger, you enjoy that. And then as you grow as a PA and as you become older, you're okay with, you know, going to a smaller setting, going to a smaller practice and just kind of zoning in on that one specialty. That's how I feel. Like I mentioned before, as a new grad, working in a hospital setting really molds you as a PA and you really grow as a PA. And more importantly is that you're always learning and always learning from such bright individuals. Another thing is that you make so many connections in the hospital with different physicians, different PAs, different MPs, administrative staff. You just make so many connections. So remember, never burn those bridges because you never know when you may need that contact. So what's actually really, I think, crazy in the medical community is that it's such a large community, but such a small community. And somehow everyone's kind of connected and someone may know someone that you may know. So never burn those bridges. I know as a student, I preferred working in the hospital setting. And then now as I've been a PA for eight years, I think I prefer more of the private practice setting. Like I mentioned before, I think as you grow as a provider and grow as an individual, sometimes you kind of make that transition or make that shift. But as a student, you'll always get the experience between working in a hospital setting and working in a private practice setting. And more importantly, you will get to see the difference between what PAs in the hospital do and what PAs in private practice do. Before I end this video, I will mention that you can kind of have the best of both worlds. As I mentioned before, I worked as a full-time surgery PA in the hospital and part-time derm PA in an office. But sometimes I know some PAs who do this and they are private practice PAs, but they also work in the hospital. And what I mean by that is a lot of surgical subspecialties, you will work for a private practice or you will work with one physician and you will work in that one practice, but you may operate in the hospital setting or you may round on your 
your patients in the hospital setting. So you kind of get the best of both worlds where you will see your office patients, but then you also be in the hospital operating and rounding on your inpatients and working with other team members to devise a plan for that patient. So there are specific specialties where you can do a hybrid position. You get the benefits of a private practice, but also can have the experience of working in a hospital setting. Anyways, I'm going to end this video and let me know your thoughts on which setting you think you prefer. If you have any other video ideas for me, leave them in the comments below. But other than that, like this video, comment on this video, and follow me on Instagram if you don't already. And I'll see you all on my next channel. Bye.